This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com, and today I'm going to talk about the Reverb plugin that comes with Reaper. Uh, not a lot of people know that this can load impulse responses and function as a convolution reverb. So to demonstrate this, I have a short piano loop loaded into Reaper. And I'm going to apply some convolution reverb to it using the Reverb plugin. So I'll create a reverb send track, and I will load an instance of reverb on here. And what I'm going to be using is a free set of impulse responses that you can download online from housecallfm.com. This is for the Lexicon 480L uh, reverb unit. They're freely available, and you can find a lot of reverb impulse responses for free online as well as for purchase, but I will include a link to these specific impulse responses in the description of the video. So we've created our reverb track, and I'm going to send... Oh, I'm going to send the piano to the reverb track, and we'll set that send level to full for right now. And then in reverb, I'll select add, file, and I'll choose one of the impulse responses from this directory. These are the Lexicon 480L impulse responses. So we'll do a large haul. And I'm going to take the dry level all the way down because we're sending the track to it. And let's take a listen. Now I can adjust the amount of reverb by adjusting the send level. And if I want to A-B that and just sort of turn reverb on and off. I think that sounds pretty good. If you'd like to change around what impulse response you're using, over here you now have a drop-down menu of all the impulse responses in that directory that you originally loaded from. So if we wanted to put an auto park on there, or change it to an echo. So this is a pretty powerful resource. Um, not a lot of people look at it because it, it's not as fancy looking as something like Altiverb. Um, and they also don't know that it can load these impulse responses. But this is really a great resource that's going to uh, give you some really good sounding reverbs. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out more online tutorials at bkashaaudio.com.